Hi everyone, my name is Jason and today I wanted to kind of quickly walk through PromptFu. So I've been looking for a long time now for a testing framework that I really enjoyed using that was really easy to get started with. And so I'm just going to dive right into it, right? So I'm going to talk about how to install PromptFu, run it, and then probably spend the bulk of my time in the configuration part with their main website here, just promptfu.dev. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to a project that I've been working on for a little while called, I just call it Japanese Explorer to help me learn Japanese. So you can see in this folder here, I've got um, some other files already. Um, you can see my BAML um, folders. I'm going to open up this up in Visual Studio Code. So I'm just going to do it this way. This is my favorite way of doing things. So here I've got my project. Now, I don't actually have to dive into any of my project code at the moment. So here, if you go to PromptFu resources uh, docs, we'll skip through this because I'm going to show it to you in a moment. So installation, a couple options, npm, npx. Uh, I just go with brew. Um, I don't know why. It's maybe because I'm so oldie but goodie. So give this about a minute to uh, download. I've already downloaded it. So you can see I'm running the latest as of this recording, 108.0. So to get started, I'm already in the folder I want to use this in. So I'm just going to do prompt foo init. And you will see here, it will present this really, uh, really easy to use uh, interactive CLI. So here, what I want, what do I want to do? If this is your first time using prompt foo, it's okay, just put not sure yet. And here I am going to want to test running local models because the app I'm working on is running, trying to run locally using Olama. So I'm going to scroll or tap all the way down to Olama. And I have a readme file already. I don't want to overwrite that because that's part of my project. Okay, so you can see here the uh, prompt foo con config.yaml file was added. And if we go and take a look at it, we can see here that PromptFu has added a bunch of example prompts and setup for you to build off of. Now, this is obviously not going to, I mean, this will run just fine because it's just testing the model. And if you wanted to just run it, you could do PromptFu um, eval. And then you can even output this to a file. So I'll just do a output test.html. And it would test the, the models that I have here. Oh, which I haven't provided an API for. So since I'm running Olama, let's do this Olama list. These are the models I have, Solar, Mistral. So here I want to test Solar because uh, I want to do Japanese, right? But just to get started, we'll just put Mistral, right? So here, I'll wipe this one out. Now, if you're running Olama, you have to, uh, prefix with Olama and then the model name. Uh, I did this the wrong way before. I just put Mistral uh, colon latest and then it won't run. Uh, okay, so here, this should run now. Make this a little bigger. Okay, so four, six, four successes, two failures. Let's see what happened here. On the bananas and avocado test. So this is just the example uh, config that um, you start with when you run the init. So here we had an error running New York City in the newer sleeps. So let's, let's just take a quick look at the test here. So test New York City. Oh, so the original prompt that was put in here was write a tweet about New York City and we just needed to assert sure that the output is funny. Ah, okay. The uh, LLM test for funniness, uh, it did not pass. Now the output test.html file, now that one, ah, here it is. So I should be able to open that up uh, directly. Open, oh, you can see here I was testing earlier as well. Oop. So open this up with uh, Safari. Okay, so we just get the same output, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna modify the config.yaml file for running Japanese language test. So I'll leave that. So what I want to do is, oh, actually this is quite perfect. Inside the getting started guide, they actually have an example of like, like a language translation prompt. So I'll just copy and paste this. And here for the vars, change this to match the dynamic variable. So we're gonna change language to Japanese. 
and input input. Uh, let's do something like hello world, and we'll do three more tests here. Boop. Uh, where's the bathroom? Very important. Oh, oh, where's the nearest restroom? Uh, bathroom. And maybe something simple like uh, my name is Jason. Okay, just run this test output. Actually, you know, if you don't want to output an HTML file, you can just do prompt foo eval, and it should just output to the terminal. So let's see, my Japanese is not fantastic, but where's the nearest bathroom? To the Wadoko Desko and Jason Desk. Okay, so that looked pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is to show you how do you could add more models here. Oops, boop. So Olama, and here I can test the solar model that I've been wanting to test. And since I have Llama 3, I'll add that as well too. So here, so here, right, it's just outputting and here I haven't asserted anything. So it just, as long as the LLM outputs something, great. But if you want to assert stuff, then the original example did have an assertion. Uh, remember I had the Rubik for, is it funny? Assert type, connect. ah, so here's an example. So what I can do here is assert Oop. contains in here. So this isn't a, a very good test, but if uh, my Japanese are better or what I can do is I can go back and um, ask more difficult translation questions and probably have like a native speaker give me like what, like a, uh, what the type of translation it should be and do a better job of asserting, right? So uh, this is my name in Katakana. So I just wanna make sure it contains that. So these are some simple asserts. Now I'm just gonna run it again to see if all these models will produce hopefully the same general output. In general, I like to use Olama to test these sorts of frameworks and tools because then I'm not, you know, not burning tokens and paying for these. Okay, so five successes, four failures. Okay, so this is interesting. All right, so where's the nearest bathroom? Oh, this looks, was it cut off? Ah, okay, so it didn't use Desca. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so each each of the columns is one of the uh, models. But which model was which? Okay, so this is where maybe outputting to an HTML file might be better. I'll put three models, HTML. Let me try this. I'm just gonna see if I can expand it on the, uh, in the browser. Boop. Yeah, so here we go. Okay, so if I make the, yeah, so you can see, read here, Mistral, Solar, Llama 3. Cool. Okay, so yeah, that gives you an idea of how to get started with Prompt Foo. Um, I'm planning to dive into this deeper because I really want to get into some more advanced testing, especially with uh, RAG and graph RAG systems. So yeah, enjoy, good luck, and see you in the next one.